are joined by Mr. Chris Hadfield. You've been to four Starmuses before. How is this Starmus different from others? I think they progressively get better. I thought the uh, concert as part of the uh, Stephen Hawking medal ceremony was the best evening of Starmus that I've ever been at. It was uh, well thought out. Mm -hmm. the, um, the music was spectacularly well produced and well performed. There was a lot of nice variety in it. And then the people that won the awards had an opportunity to speak from the heart. They were taken care of by the Master of Ceremonies, Robin Ince, but th the, the content and the depth of feeling and what they said, it was a memorable evening. The theme of our, our Star Wars this time is the future of our home planet. How do you think your book can shift the perspective from colonizing Mars to saving, preserving the life on Earth? There's been a huge change in the last 200 years. We've gone from less than a billion people to eight and coming up on 10 billion people. And and so we haven't recognized right away what that means, but we're starting to recognize right now that how you take care of less than a billion people has to be quite different than how you take care of 10 billion people. It's really focused the necessity to take care of our world. It can't just take care of us. We have to have a sense of stewardship and responsibility. When you're on board a spaceship and you go around the world in 90 minutes, mm -hmm. you feel a great kinship with the planet and, and a growing sense of responsibility for your role in it. And so if you're going to gather some a really proven bright world thinkers like Nobel laureates okay. and some very successful artists, some people that have found ways to use art to express thought and emotion and bring them together, naturally you're going to focus on um, important issues. And, and the greatest important issue of our age, the one that is defining everything else, is how can we develop all of the technologies and skills to let this planet take care of 10 billion people sustainably. That's our challenge right now. What would you like general public to really take with them after, after the festival? I think number one is to feel empowered. Uh, nothing has ever been done by no one. Yes. Things that get done are done by someone. Mm -hmm. And often, in fact, always, it's a small group of dedicated people that change the world. Mm -hmm. that, that's how the world has gotten to where it is, good and bad. And there's lots of ways to measure how good things are right now. Never this many people fed as today. Never this many people living long lives. Never this low level of child mortality and maternal mortality. But we're, we're making lots of mistakes too right now. And I think people coming away, number one, should recognize that their thoughts, their ideas and their actions are necessary and important. We tend to forgive ourselves. Oh, it's just a little decision. You know, I'll just, uh, I'll throw this piece of garbage away. I'll eat this piece of cake. I'll treat that person badly. It's just, you know, I'm just driving through the McDonald's restaurant and it's just a little, all you control is what you choose to do next. So make it a deliberate part of who you are. And I think what each person should maybe take once they recognize, hey, I've got the power. I'm, I'm, I'm a part of this. I'm not the only person, but I'm part of this. Give themselves some long-term things that are important to them. Because you're not gonna do stuff if it's not important to you. You might do it for a little while, but you're not gonna do it for a long time, unless it's in your heart. So find some things that are truly in your heart and use those constantly to help you choose what to do next. Because that's the only thing that you actually control is what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do next? And so think about the fact that these are the things I dream of. And so therefore, tonight, or this weekend, or in the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna do this. It's not gonna solve the world problem, but if I can continually change who I am to move slightly towards those things that I'm dreaming of, then at the end of each day, you can look back and go, okay, I, I didn't get to my dream, but I got closer to it. And you can build a sense of momentum. And if you can be part of a group of people who are solving some of the problems that we need to solve, then you are that little group of people that are gonna change the world. And that's how people should view themselves. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.